together we can show the world what we can do You are next to me and I'm next to you Push me on through until the battle's won No one's gonna give something to us Into each other we put our trust Standing united after the fight is done Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Ninja Fury here. I simply really apologize for the very late review of Mahubo Academia Season 3 Episode Episode 17. There we go. Episode 17 review. That day has come! Yeah, my hero. So basically, as you pretty much expected, this is the continuation of the Provisionary License arc. So yeah, just like where we left off last time, we have so this episode of My Hero Academia. Now, here's the thing with this episode of My Hero Academia that I just realized. And I'm like, wait a minute. Because there were certain parts that I'm like, wait a minute. I don't specifically remember this from the manga. Like, I don't. I don't remember these specific parts from the manga. And then what I found out was in reality term, it's just that it's actually filler yes they actually added filler within this episode which i'm just like holy jesus i was not expecting that because again i thought we we're just getting straight up canon but it looks like we're still getting a lot more filler than not, not a lot more filler but some filler extended, which i get it i get it i get it i get it we are diving in, not extremely close to the manga, but we sort of are, like, in many ways. Which, it's why they had to put a little bit of extended filler. Which sucks, I know, because I'm just like, wait, what the fuck? Like, did this rival school with the... With the Girl Scouts? Like, some fucking, like, change of flavor with their tea? Like, okay, the cork and everything was nice. I didn't mind that at all, it's just... I just don't know why they changed that. Like, I know they didn't really show it in the manga, but here, it's kind of different. So, basically, let's just start from the beginning, okay? We have, um, we have, okay. We have Todoroki, and he's obviously still fighting, like, those ninja dudes or whatever. You know, the ones that throw, like, the big weapons and whatnot. But, obviously, um, pretty much, he just, um, he just basically uses his ice ability from some way to escape part of the cork, where he can turn everything big, including the tops and whatever weapons they use. And, of course, Todoroki actually wins the fight. So, he wins, and he defeats those ninja dudes, the ninja clan. By the way, once again, I do apologize before I get into this again. I apologize for the episode being a bit late, but kind of busy time at work, and i just been extremely tired, so forgive me for that, yeah. So, I do apologize for that, but it's finally out right now. So, let's get into it. So... Todoroki, you know, he wins his fight against the ninjas, and then we have Momo's group, where basically she, uh, she is with Sue, uh, so we have, like, another student, meanwhile, like I mentioned, the other school, which is basically part of, again, this school was not in the manga, from what I remember, this was all just straight up filler, which they added, which I think this might have been in the manga, but we just probably see it off screen, and we just didn't obviously see it but considering yes this is pretty much filler which is pretty odd but i'm not saying that the episode was pretty bad because of it i mean from that standard it did give character development towards the characters regardless it actually did so what happened is we got this other student where they break the the windows with a with a slingshot and with that cork and what happens is um so we have that going on and i'm talking about and basically we have Sue and Mezo, which are actually going in there. And what happens is, is that while that pretty much happens, we see that where what happens is that Jiro, you know, tries her best to actually come in, but she actually gets shot up by the sniper. And what happens is that when that happens, um, also I find they also find out too, which her name is um, Psycho. I think her name is Psycho. Yeah, she uses her IQ core to a number Momo in her group. So what happens is, is that she, uh, she exp so what happens is that they freeze the entirety where everything is out, like all the the actual AC power is out, and meaning the AC is on, and they have no way to turn it off. So basically, those actual abilities when it comes to the AC are on, and everything is broken. So what happens is, is that with the cold, pretty much. 
So actually what happens is that Jiro, she does use some kind of like high power headphone thing in order to actually jack up something, in order to actually break whatever um, of the cork, uh, the IQ core that they use to actually basically outmaneuver them from all the, from the freezing AC room that they were actually in. So, so while Momo was trapped in that locked room with the AC or whatever, and Jiro and them found their way out, they basically just found a way to beat the the tea party, <laughs> the tea party, the tea chicks, and basically that's where we end up that little fight. Granted, that was pretty cool. I did like the fact that they were there in order to. Um, I did like the fact that they were there in order to actually, you know, basically. Uh, well, they were basically there to actually... Well, they're filler characters, obviously. So, they weren't really, like, at the highest threat of level. Like, that part alone, eh, it was good, but it wasn't great. Like, it was kind of cool, but at the same time, I really did like the fact that I was like, oh, we'll never leave our friend behind sort of deal. That was actually pretty cool, and they could know that they could just pass whatever they can without her regardless. But either, either way, they still wouldn't leave a friend behind no matter what. You know, obviously, Shonen trope, obviously. And then... Right after we get to that part, we get to this dude right here, Shiji. Now, Shiji um, Cork ability is able to turn any kind of person's body into a glob of flesh. And that's basically what we have, like a glob of flesh. And that happened with Karashima. My boy, Mr. 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 Hardening, actually got defeated because of this. He became this weird... Now, that I remember from the manga. I do remember that from the manga indeed. Where it became like that weird splooge of like flesh or whatever. And that's basically. So that's basically what we got there. And then not just Kirishima, but Ijiro as well. So what happens is, is that. So what happens is that uh, Midoriya's distraction. Uh, Midoriya had to make some kind of distraction in order for them to actually catch her opponent off guard to restrain a few other students. And then also what happens is. But, then Katsuku uses his new special power to counter Shiji's assault. Then after that, that's pretty much what we got here. So it looks like, you know, the assault on that pretty much has ended there. And that's pretty much where we end this episode off. So when it comes to Shiji's quirk abilities, they are actually quite impressive. Not gonna lie there. That whole glump of flesh thing is just like, holy shit, man. So, yeah. Now, granted, when it comes to the filler side, it was kind of cool, but I felt like it was very, very very unnecessary especially <laughs> but also when it comes to <laughs> sorry i was around someone so yeah so the filler i found completely unnecessary or whatever i just found it um completely unnecessary but i did like the animation i like the choreography when it comes to that scene with the actual with the actual the tea party school chicks or whatever so that was kind of cool not the greatest but it was kind of cool the other stuff i did like though when it comes to like you know like you know um oh shit where can't where um god i can't speak Todoroki, where he was fighting against the ninjas that part was my favorite and then of course the ending part with shinji now this dude Looks like he could be a massive threat. So Midori and them and company had to find some kind of way to distract them and then do that. And it looks like they look like gonna take him off guard. It looks like Bakugo and Midoriya are gonna have a one big epic team up. Now I'm not gonna really spoil too much of it because obviously I read the manga to this. But regardless though, I do remember some bits and pieces of it, because again it has been a while since so I read this arc. But I kind of but I sort of got the grasp of idea on how it's gonna end. So regardless though, that is pretty much it for this episode overall i'm not gonna say it's a really great episode i mean i guess it's not like a really good episode either more like a decent episode it's uh 3.5 so it's a decent episode at best not really my favorite episode of, of the actual yeah it's not really my favorite i wouldn't say like it's my favorite episode but mm, could be better it could have been a lot better next week's episode kind of does look promising though hopefully maybe but until then, that is basically it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's episode, or not really this week's, but this episode in general of Season 3, Episode 17 Review. And I'll see you guys next time for Episode 18. 
What do you guys think of it? Did you love the episode? Did you hate the episode? Let me know. Also, do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe, click that bell, join the squad, follow my social media plugins, my gamer tags, and the Plus Ultra Discord. So, peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And manga fans, keep supporting me for me to watch you watch, and go beyond Plus Ultra, baby.